Another big trial that we're watching very closely is that one in Philadelphia, where a jury is hearing closing arguments in the capital murder trial of an abortion doctor accused of killing full-grown babies at his clinic. Prosecutors say that 72-year-old Kermit Gosnell ran a practice where only extremely poor women sought late-term abortions that they couldn't get anywhere else. Joining me now to talk more about the case is NARAL President Elise Hogue. Elise, it's good to have you here to talk specifically about this. Obviously, this is a horrifying case where the facts have revealed that babies were born alive, then killed in a manner that is just too gruesome to describe. But NARAL really found itself under a white-hot spotlight, fire from conservatives about this case for allegedly remaining silent. But you vehemently denied that you have remained silent. What is your reaction as this trial <laughs> wraps up now? Uh, well, I mean, outrage. I think the American people join me and, you know, my organization in being outraged that this man was able to operate for years preying on poor women who need, desperately needed safe and clean medical services, um, but were unable to get it because of the restrictions that drove um, credible and reputable providers and doctors out of business in, in Pennsylvania. And uh, we were the first out of the gate to call it attention to this case. And you know why, Thomas? It's because, unfortunately, as the anti-choicers try and restrict more and more doctors out of business, they are the ones that are keeping the Kermit Gosnells operating. This was not a failure of regulation. It was a failure of enforcement. And they drove poor, desperate women into the clutches of this monster who broke the law from top to bottom. You have described this as a, 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 a case as a, quote, peek into the world of Roe v. Wade. Uh, into the world before Roe v. Wade. Right. What did you mean by that? And do you feel that the onus, Elise, has been put on NARAL and other organizations to expose people like Kermit Gosnell? If you hear about practices like this where they are going unquestioned uh, by modern day laws, do you feel an onus put on you to try to seek these people out and shut them down? Well, I think it, the onus is on us as humans who care about women getting medical services they need to drive all doctors out of business who don't hold their patients' best interest at heart. And that's exactly what we saw with Kermit Gosnell. What he was doing was illegal from top to bottom. There had been complaints. They were ignored from the health board. And I get up and go to work every single day to make sure women get the care that they need and aren't driven into back alley abortion providers like Kermit Gosnell was. Mayor President Elise